and we're live. Let's get to it. I only got one more year left, so I'm not trying to waste any time. I'm trying to get straight to work. So. I got the chance to play back home, so I'm just gonna take it for what it is and ball out. What have you learned these past few years about yourself and your game? Uh, what I learned these past few years about myself and my game, um, I feel like I definitely learned that there's always, you know, room to improve, so. I feel like I definitely just watching a lot of film, you know, knowing what your what your weaknesses are and your strengths are. You can always work on your weaknesses, make sure your strengths are good. So I feel like definitely taking care of my body and just putting in the work to, to become a better player. I feel like I evolved a lot in the past few years and I'm going to continue working to keep getting better. So what are you doing this summer to prepare you for the final season? Just putting in the work, you know, anytime I can. Morning, afternoon, night, you know, just taking care of my body, getting shots up every day, you know, meditating, getting my mind right, just getting ready to, you know, ball out this last season. You know, I only got one more year left, so I'm not trying to waste any time. I'm trying to get straight to work, so definitely. being home mean to you? Um, you know, it's definitely a blessing, you know, being able to come back and play at home, you know, in front of my family and friends, you know, after going away for four years to Atlanta. Um, it definitely took some time to get adjusted out there, so it's definitely just a blessing to be back in New York, you know. I feel comfortable. I have all my peoples out here rooting for me, behind me, so I feel like it's definitely a blessing to be out here back in New York. What do you think your biggest obstacle will be coming into the year? My biggest obstacle, um, just trying not to let things get in the way, you know, just trying to keep my mental right throughout whatever, you know, goes. In basketball, there's a lot of ups and downs, but confidence, I feel like, plays a big part, damn near like 90%, so just keeping my mental right is probably the biggest thing, mental, body, all that. What goes through your head every time you step on that court? 
I don't even know how to answer that question, to be honest. Because truthfully, like, I feel like whenever I'm on a basketball court, it's really like a, an escape from reality. So, like, no matter what's going on or how I'm feeling outside the court, whenever I get a chance to play basketball, I feel just free-minded, you know, just always thinking about, you know, what's the next move on the court. So, yeah. Why Fordham? Um, you know, I definitely had a lot of options after I, you know, put my name in the transfer portal after graduating from Georgia Tech. You know, I was just trying to find whatever best situation, you know, fits for me. You know, I was trying to find a, a school that fits more like my, my play style, you know, that's going to let me just ball out and also just being home, you know, it's not, no other feeling like that. So that definitely had a part to play in the decision, but I felt like when I came out here, you know, I felt really comfortable with the, the coaches, the staff, and I feel like I would have the opportunity to, to do what I need to do this year, so. What does this year mean to you? You know, it's just another opportunity to play basketball, you know. Basketball is a game I love, so I won't take any moment that I can hope out for granted, you know. Um, definitely got blessed with this extra year because of COVID, so I got the chance to play back home, so. Just gonna take it for what it is and ball out. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> 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 to be honest. Yeah, I'd just be staring. Why Fordham? You know, um... I think it's through the most red. <laughs> All right. Nah, I might have to make a blooper. <laughs> so these be going crazy <laughs> out here. You feel me, New York? You don't think got to be... Like nah. Others within yourself. Within myself. Damn. Damn. Okay. You feel me? It's your boy K Dollar. You call me K Dollar, Khalid Moore. Um. Yeah. You know. Let's, let's get straight to the money. One more year. Let's go crazy, man. You know what I'm talking about? Let's do this. Shit. Let's go. Let's go. All right.